Peter with ArcadePartsAndRepair.com and uh, we're going to go over uh, just adjusting the B-plus uh, pot on the Sanyo uh, 20Z2AW uh, monitor. Uh, slightly different than the, uh, than the Sanyo 20EZ but fairly similar. Um, I pulled this monitor out because we had to actually go through and uh, recap this monitor with one of our kits and clean it all up. Had to uh, go through and actually uh, recoat the aqua dag on this monitor. As you see, it's uh, we had to go through and because uh, it was flaking off, so there's a lot of spots. Now I want to go through a couple points here because I got um, we just capped this. We haven't set it up. I put a new B plus pot on here, which is uh, basically the blue pot uh, right down there with the. Uh, uh, the rod in it there. That's the new B plus pot that we installed. So we will have to adjust that and the uh, pot itself was uh, uh, Pretty tough shape there, but what we did is we actually went through and uh, Adjusted that with a meter based on what the old one was set at the ohm reading on that um, And then got it fairly close. So then when we turn it on we should be fairly close to uh, the 108 volts DC that it needs to be set at. Uh, so first off, we're going to go through, we have an isolation transformer here uh, that's 100 volts AC, which came out of an old, uh, um, this one here came out of a Nintendo uh, cabinet at that point. And um, this monitor here, we've got the long, uh, um, non-conductive uh, rod here to go down to that pot so we can actually adjust it down in there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, kind of hard to see down in there right now. And then we've got the meter set up where we got our ground on the heat sink here. And then our positive we actually had to hook it up to, a, um, to an IC grabber, uh, which is that purple one down inside here. Um, and it's actually, it connects up to uh, test point 91. And that's actually TP91. You can kind of see it uh, uh, right down there. It's on that uh, kind of the pink wire there. It's TP91 down in there. And that's basically um, where that uh, positive lead goes, which you can kind of see it right down there is where the grabber's at. And so what we'll do now is we'll actually turn this stuff on and we got our meter, uh, we're on DC volts here and then uh, we'll just power this up, hope we don't blow nothing up here. And looks like we're awful close there. Uh, now the procedure on this particular monitor is, is first off we want to uh, take the brightness pot and we want to turn it all the way to full brightness, which is fully clockwise. And then basically we want to adjust the, um, the actual, uh, and you should run these for about 20 to 30 minutes before you adjust your, uh, um, your B plus pot there because it can vary slightly. So, but we're going to actually adjust it now. And uh, I'll probably check it later and uh, just double check, make sure it hasn't moved at all at that point. So right now, since our pot's actually um, on there, we can actually look at this over here. And we just basically adjust one way, which is counterclockwise, goes down. The clockwise direction, we just slowly raise it up until we're at 108 uh, volts DC. And that's where we want this to hold at. Um, and then basically you still have to, after you've recapped a monitor, you still gotta go through and actually, uh, um, and actually go through the whole thing and, and color balance it. So uh, that'll be a totally different deal there, another video. But I just wanted to uh, show you how to actually do that. And this particular monitor we went through and and when you're done setting this, you'll actually reach it, re turn your brightness back down to its normal setting where it was. Uh, we recapped the audio board here. Um, the monitor, we recapped the whole monitor chassis. We actually capped the uh, inverter board here. 
and then we'll basically uh, went through and reflowed all the headers um, and we actually had a few cold solder joints on some of the big uh, ceramic cement resistors like this one here uh, was actually wiggling loose that one actually had a little bit there so you have to basically go through a lot of those things otherwise you'd be pulling the chassis out very quickly again fixing more stuff so but that should uh, do it for now and uh, if you got any questions you can email us and all the parts and the kits we stock on our website at uh, arcadepartsandrepair.com and we actually do have a picture because we pulled this chassis so we could actually take a picture of both sides so you can actually view that if you want to help ID your chassis um, right on our website and we'll talk to you later thanks bye